Hello everybody. One of the features that I most like about the new iOS 6 is the voice guided navigation that comes in the new Maps application. And I just thought I'd show you a couple of things that I've, I've discovered about this um, and why it's become one of my favourite navigation apps. Down here I have the, the Parrot Hands Free Kit. Um, just off screen is, is the control buttons for that but that's not really important. Um, up here is the iPhone 4S uh, running the latest version of iOS 6. Now if I press the... sorry, you'll notice that the phone is currently off and locked. If I press the, the voice control button... Take me to Tesco's. Looking for local businesses named Tescus. I found several places matching Tescus fairly close to you. The nearest is Tesco Stores Limited. It's a little over a mile south. Would you like to get directions or skip to the next one? Take me there. Getting directions to Tesco Stores Limited. So now Maps is loaded up and it will automatically start navigation. So there's my route being displayed. Starting route to Tesco Stores Limited. Head northwest on Cadlands Park Estate. Okay, um, at the top of the screen is obviously um, the instructions for where we need to go next. Um, touching the screen. We'll just show you your ETA um, and give you your, your options down the bottom. Another really nice feature about this is it runs quite nicely in the background. Um, if I want to go and do anything else, um, you'll notice that um, get the banner up at the top with the flashing blue behind it saying touch to return to navigation. And your voice controls or your voice prompts will still work perfectly happily um, from there and touching that um, comes back obviously to the maps. Um, one of the really nice things that I found is if you're running it from the lock screen like I was before um, that between whilst you're on long straight roads um, it will um, turn the screen off between commands so it's obviously using less power for that. Okay, so as you'll notice, the screen is off. It's black at the moment. Um, we'll just pull away um, and wait for the next command. Hold on, I just have to wait because there's a car coming now. Okay, we're off. Okay, as I say, I can't help the wobble too much, um, but we are coming up to a corner any time now. Turn yep. left onto main road, then turn left onto long lane. Okay, driving with the camera attached wasn't as successful as I hoped, but I think what you saw there was that uh, I was coming up to a corner and the screen turned on automatically. Um, once the manoeuvre well, the screen stays on for the length of the manoeuvre, and then once you're around the corner and out the way of it, the screen automatically dims again or, or turns off completely until you turn up, come up to the next corner, um, and then it switches on and stays on for that. All in all, this working on the lock screen and, and everything like that has has made you know Maps my favourite navigation application at the moment. You know, does it spell trouble for the likes of TomTom Tom or, or Copilot, really? You know, is it another nail in the coffin?